Given its historical relationship with blacks, why would any black person ever join the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Yet Keith Hamilton did just that in 1980 while a college student in North Carolina. I remember when I told one of my aunts that I had joined a church, she, she said, Keith, you're crazy, you're already black, why would you want to be a Mormon in, in the South? And, that, and I, that really summed it up. In his thought-provoking and often humorous book, Last Laborer, inspired by Christ's parable of the laborers in Matthew 20, Hamilton, the grandson of a Southern Baptist minister, explains how and why he joined the Mormon church. He also shares his thoughts and insights regarding many of the doctrinal issues associated with the church's former restrictive policies and practices towards blacks. There is a, a huge need to correct the things that have been falsely taught because some people don't understand. Truly treat each other as brothers and sisters and there is no division among us. We need to have stories like Keith's told. His stimulating perspectives are guaranteed to challenge and inspire the reader. One thing that I'm gathering is Keith's emphasis in the book of being no respecter of persons, that God is no respecter of persons, and that we should not be either. Hamilton shares his remarkable personal story of faith, testimony, trial, and triumph, written as what he coins a doctrinal text. He has been pushed, I'm sure, from his Heavenly Father to put this insight in writing because no one can put it down like Keith can. Included are his experiences while growing up in the traditional African-American culture in the Jim Crow South, his post-conversion service as a full-time LDS missionary, his years in Provo, Utah as BYU's first black law school student. I owe so much. To, to the law school, I, they gave it. They took a chance on me. Paved the way for all the all the African Americans now at the law school that would come through the law school to be able to come. Read about Keith's service in San Francisco as one of the church's first black LDS bishops. Keith was a trailblazer, and things were not always easy on uh, going places others haven't gone before. Very significantly, he offers an uncommon but well-researched doctrinal presentation of the issues involved in the historical Mormons and Blacks controversy, paying particular attention to the church's lifting of its restrictions towards Blacks following the watershed revelation on priesthood announced in June of 1978. This is the thing to do to make the gospel universal to all worthy people. If you ever had questions about the Mormon Church's doctrinal history regarding blacks, or have wondered what an African-American convert's experience in the church must be like, Last Laborer is a must-read for you. What does a Mormon look like? Well, it looks like you. It looks like me. It looks like anybody. Last Laborer, Thoughts and Reflections of a Black Mormon by author Keith N. Hamilton with a foreword by Thurl Big T. Bailey. Wherever you may stand regarding the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or whatever you may think about its treatment of blacks, past and present, this book will stimulate your mind, arouse your soul, and challenge both your thoughts about blacks as a people and your beliefs about the Mormon Church as an institution. If I rely on the Lord, then maybe I can break down some of the stereotypes that people have about Latter-day Saints and African-Americans and African-American Latter-day Saints and people can just see people for who they are.